What you are about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you are about to see are not real life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Starsat, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. Welcome to The Rock, our fabulously glamorous studio here at ISC headquarters in Pretoria. Tension is mounting and the excitement is palpable. The entire nation is watching, wondering. Yes, folks, everybody wants to know, what the hell is that thing? You call yourself an African? This clearly symbolizes our continent in all its multifaceted glory. How can you not see that? Ex Hold on. We're hearing that the final results are in. It's looking good for the big three, but not so good for the small 26. Ahang and Cope are already in the intensive care unit. But it ain't over until the fat lady sings. And I'm not talking about you know who. Let's cross to the big screen and find out who will run South Africa for the next five years. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank the millions of our citizens who voted peacefully, despite the regrettable actions of a few thugs who threw stones, bent down our voting tents here and there, and even took selfies whilst voting. It has been a remarkable process in which... I foot attack, man! Bring me my farm! How dare you! Take your beret off when you are talking to a woman, young man. Security, take him out. Okay, so here are the official final results of the 2014 South African general elections. 18,350,000 ballots have been counted. And winning 50.1% of the vote, the new government will be formed by <gasps> the Economic Freedom Fighters. The fuck? Juju? Really? Juju? Ooh. 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 We were wrong! We demand Ooh. a recount. Wait. That's us! What's us, Chief? The Economic Freedom Fighters! We know that, Chief! We are not complete idiots! We won the elections! We did what? Shut up and listen! I'll give you those results again. With 50.1% of the vote, the EFF has won the election and will form the next government. In second place... We won! We won! <laughs> open the champagne! Yes, open the champagne! We must drink! Drink, 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 drink! drink, 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 drink. drink. Shut up! Drink. We can't open the champagne. Ah, uh, come on, Chief. Why not? Okay, then. You open it. Exactly. We don't have arms. We must get arms, Chief. We demand arms. Yes, we, we want to have an arms struggle. Shut up. You can't have an arms struggle if you don't have arms. We won the election. We don't need to fight anymore. We are in power. Power, power, power. Well, there you have it, folks. Whether you like it or not, the EFF has taken this election by a nose. Many of you will be finding it hard to believe. I know I am. We urge everybody to be calm. There is no need for panic. Just lock your doors and stay away from the windows, people. Deborah, I'm trying to keep the people calm. You aren't helping. I just knew I should have renewed my bloody passport. Damn it, f But who knew, right? Who could have possibly predicted such a thing? Me? I could have predicted such a thing. I, Julia Silomalema, do solemnly swear to uphold... Mr. Malema, what are you doing? That's President Malema. And I'm practicing for my swearing in. Are you telling us, Mr. Malema? President Malema. I can't. I'm sorry. I just can't. <clears throat> Maybe once you're in the union buildings, but not now. Fine. You can call us my highness then. Yeah, like when pigs fly in hell. This is all about power for you, huh? Are you not excited about leading the country to greater heights? 
about improving the lot of the poor? The who? The poor, remember? You mentioned them just a few moments ago? That was then. This is now. Look, there are no more poors. Farms for everybody. Can I have Poshendal? Can Please, please, can I have Poshendal? Just... Justice! What, man? They've got a great Sauvignon Blanc. And have you seen the main house? I, all I'm saying is if, if the president's giving away farms, then... Justice! <sighs> okay. Mr. Priz... <clears throat> Malema, once you are in the office, what do you intend changing first? I will change all the locks on the doors at the office to stop that Zulu boy from sneaking back in at night. Okay, but your first act as president, what will that be? After changing the locks? Yes, after changing the locks. Wait. Yeah, obesity is a big problem in this country, but surely you don't think that... No, Wena. I meant, wait, I'm thinking... Okay, I'm finished. I will change the dress code in Parliament so that everybody wears red berets and overalls. Gucci? Hugo Boss? No, Dolce Gabbana. They gave me a special price. Tax-free. Figures. Even the ANC MPs? No, they will get orange overalls so that they can walk straight into Polsmoor. And the DA? They will get swimsuits so they can walk straight into the sea. If you plan to drive the whites into the sea, could this happen in Durban, please? I don't want to be driven into the sea in Cape Town. Way too cold for me. Not you, Debra. I heard my colleague Barack just the other day say that orange is the new black. So you are safe, CC. Wow. See, I told you that sun tank was a good investment. Last question, Commander President-elect. Who would you like to see in your cabinet? Well, as you know, Bra Justice, I have lots of friends and quite a big family. Many of them are looking for jobs. My Gogo, for example, she's a fighter and will make a very good minister of defense. One of my cousins got his metric. He can be a minister of education and so on. Do you have a job for me? Of course. I will be creating a department of white people. You can be director general. But I thought I wasn't... Never mind. Uh, what will the department do? We will compile a register of all the white people in the country. Okay, and then? Then we will drive them into the sea. But you said... So I lied. Big deal. Lying is in my job description. It's right there between upholding the constitution and promoting the unity of the nation. No, it's not. It will be by the time I'm finished with it. Amen to that, brother. Call me brother leader. Actually, don't call me. I'll call you. Controversial is my middle name, so don't come crying to me if the truth hurts. This is Unradio, and I'm uncensored, buddy. So here, I think this selection is uncool. There, I said it. Uncool. F yes. F yeah. There, I said f twice. This is called f***ing cock. Except you know, I can't have f***ing blood. I'm going to blood some to the This is what you say. I can't have cock to the blood. I'm going to have blood some of the cock. This is f***ing strong. This is what you say. F nonsense. Let's cross now to ANC headquarters, where the mood is a little more subdued. Mr. McClendon, where is everyone? Uh, uh, where to? I'm impressed, Justice. You speak Chalemanese very well. Years of practice. So, Mr. McClendon, they didn't say where they were going? Uh, Russia. Russia? Russia? Why Russia? Hmm, think about it. Does South Africa have an extradition treaty with Russia? Smart girl. Ah, who would have imagined that silly boy, President? Ah, Gwede, where are we going again? Rwanda, Harare? Oh, no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to hit into some turbulence. Nothing to worry about, but please fasten your seatbelts and we'll get you through it as quickly as possible. And, and Captain, your PA is still on. Oh. <laughs> yes, uh, I mean to say it's just a little bit of weather. Please stay in your seats and the mic off. Look, Jacob. If anything should happen and so on, I want you to know 
that I'm sorry. I'm sorry I fired you. You are sorry, Tabo? <laughs> Actually, uh, me too. I am sorry that I recalled you. Because if I hadn't, you would never have become president. And so on and stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh. Please, you two, stop. I don't think any of this is necessary. I'm sure this turbulence won't last much longer. <laughs> <laughs> I did it! I, I, I did it! I took the money from Shabir. You think we don't know that? No, it's just that I, I think I'm feeling really bad about it right now. Oh no, that was just my lunch. Of course, HIV causes AIDS. I don't know why I said it. Those scientists made me think they knew what they were talking about. I'm sorry. I I didn't have a shower. <laughs> I was wondering what drinks in here. No, I, I I mean I didn't have a shower uh, that night. But you know I said I had a shower, but uh, I, I didn't. Take up, hold yourself together. People are going to take you out of context. You had a bloody shower, man. You are all hallucinating. Oh, come on, Winnie. We are gonna die. Don't you want to go with a clear conscience? Yeah. What about Stompy? Yeah. Okay, fine. Okay, I, I, I took the money from Shavir too. But you can't coat me on this. Oh, oh, no, 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 and I also took the money from the French. Okay, so shoot me. Yes, I didn't get past the full word of Gas Capital. Also, about my house. I oh, no, 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 no. It was so long. I knew that I was using government funds from Kanda. I knew about every single detail of the upgrade, even those teeny tiny mosaic tiles in the pool. I asked for them. I ask for them. You mean the fire pool, Jacob? No, it's a fucking swimming pool. You were never meant to be our president. I am tired of covering your Sulu ass, Jacob. No, 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 no. You must resign. No. Okay, okay. It was me. I was there. I did it. All right. I did it! Sweet Jesus, we're alive! We're gonna live! What a f***ing lawyer! Yes! Okay, so nobody said anything. Nobody heard anything. We were never on this plane, okay? This plane never existed. Quede, find and destroy the black box. Now. Right. Uh, so where were we? Wait, what? I must congratulate Julius who? You're fucking with me, right? Wait, Zach Galifianakis is behind this. No? Ah, okay, I get it. It's the fake interpreter from the Madiba Memorial again. He's back, right? Wait. <clears throat> Dear President Julius Cello Malima, congratulations on your glorious victory, dog. Plim plizzle manizzle. Don't forget bouts of six foe. You're the new dog up in the African hood, so chilly, my grilly. You ain't doing nothing for those hoes for sure. Now translate that, bitch. See you in hell, whiteies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cross now to the DA headquarters where emotions are mixed and the mood confused. <laughs> are you guys crying or laughing? Uh, we, we're doing a bit of both, Justice. <laughs> we're laughing because the ANC lost. And we're crying because the EFF won. And you have no emotions about where the DA came? Uh, where did we come? I don't know. 
I went into shock the moment I heard that the EFF had won. Me too, but I like to think we came a close second. But it's probably more like a distant third. It doesn't really matter though, does it? When you live in a one-party democracy, first base is everything. Oh no, I hate losing. I really, I really, really f- hate losing. <laughs> there, there, Helen. There'll be another election. So where to now for the DA? Well, I'm going to cook a nice meal for me and my husband. I haven't made supper for him in, what's it now, 2014? I think you made soup for him in 2003 when he was sick. That's right. God, that soup almost killed him. Oh, Helen! Miss Silla, you lost the election. You can afford to be honest now. What are your real plans? Oh, uh, oh, oh, pick me, pick me. Can I tell them, please? Please, can I, please? Sure, babe, go ahead. Don't call me babe. Anywho, um, Hells and I were thinking that we might start a rebel army. We're so excited about it, aren't we, Hells? Don't call me Hells. But yes, it is an idea whose time has come. If we can't run the country, guerrilla warfare is our only option. What about the values and the principles that just a few days ago you said you would uphold if you just found Justice. yourself in... Honesty, truth and integrity are for losers. From now on, we're going maverick. If we can't win by the ballot, we are going to win by the bullet! As Che Guava said... Guevara. Um, sorry. As Che Guevara said, one has to grow hard but without ever losing tenderness. Isn't that right, babes? <laughs> sure is, sweetie pie. You know what else is right? What? That two-timing bitch Mumpella Rumpella got her comeuppance. <laughs> Just a missing has more support than a hung. <laughs> Nobody loves her. <laughs> what an unseemly display of schadenfreude. Hey, I understand German, you know. In that case, auf Wiedersehen. What? Wait. Apparently an important announcement is being made at the IEC Center in Pretoria. Let's go there right away. The IEC owes South Africans an apology. Somehow, somewhere, someone got the numbers wrong. The EFF has not in fact won the election by 50.1% of the vote. That number should be 5.1%. Once. It wasn't my fault. It was a computer error, a tiny decimal error. Nobody here understands how decimal points work. Right. Let's just pretend none of this happened. I'm starting over. Welcome to the IEC Nerve Center in Pretoria. I have great pleasure in announcing the results of the 2014 general elections. 18,352,000 ballots have been counted, winning 63.9% of the vote. The new government will be formed by the African National Congress. Ugh, too bad, little fat guy. Not so lucky, huh? Maybe you'll do better next time. But come to Russia anytime, okay? We have a strong vodka, hot women, and the homosexuals who know how to lie down and take a damn good kicking in the anus. <laughs> I see <said> the anus. <laughs> Whew, that makes more sense. For a moment there, I thought all the pot I smoked in college had come back to haunt me. Congratulations to the ANC and to South Africa for a successful general election. It's good to see another country that has no problems with voting for the black guy. Huh? Well, what did I say? Fox, you to read the South African airspace. We'll get you safe and sound and make it power for another five years in approximately three minutes. Sit back, relax, and thank you for flying the gravy plane. Ready? When am I getting my new plane? And my private runway at Nkandla, huh, Gwede? And what about that fish the good has promised me, huh, Gwede? 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 Let's cross now to senior correspondent Rian Krevachen, who has stepped out of the newsroom for the first time in his 40-year broadcasting career. Rian, can you hear me? 
Hello? Hello? Shoo, where am I? What is this place? It's called Outside, Rian. It's been there all along. Shoo, shoo, it's very bright, eh? Can we turn the lights down a bit? That's the sun, Rian. Nobody can turn it down. Jesus, it's like he was raised by wolves. Not really. Then he would have known at least what it would be like to be outdoors. Rian, what's the mood on the streets? On the what? The streets, the thing you're standing on. Oh, yes. Oh, the mood is good, Deborah. Very positive, very upbeat. People are talking. Some of them are laughing. Everyone seems to be in a very good mood out here. You haven't spoken to anyone, have you? Um, not yet, no. But but here comes someone now. What's up, my darling? Yo, you look familiar. Did I give you a blowjob last week? Oh, what job? No, I'm actually retired. But tell me, tattered lady of the streets, how do you feel about the ANC winning the election? Oh, yeah, you were the one with the erection. I remember now, it was Lekka. I think you misunderstand me, madam. I'm referring but to the general the election that took place. Rian, move on. I want my Try someone now. else. Excuse me, sir, might we have a word with you? Yeah, Rian Donner's a kruiwagen, my f***, what do you um, I'm with Puppet Nation now. Any thoughts about the outcome of the elections? Um, um, okay, just wait, wait. No. No thoughts. No thoughts at all about anything. Your thinking got us into this mess in the first place. What mess? What? You said thinking got us into this mess. Cock, man. So, who did you vote for? No, I didn't vote. I'm not political. Okay, sure. But say now you had to vote, who would you have voted for? Uh, the DA. Ah, why? Because I'm not political. We're my genade. Victory is ours, Amanda! Oh wait, two. So, can we light this thing now? Yeah, we have finished celebrating. Now we must carry on protesting. Maybe we wait and see if they deliver this time. It's the ANC. They won't deliver. So why did we vote for them? So we can protest. I said to you. Well, I had to stand in the queue for nearly 10 minutes. They ruined my manicure. I got dust all over my new Louis Vuitton shoes. But we must make these sacrifices for our beautiful country, I suppose. Phew, it's been a long and confusing day. Can we go home now? Yeah. I think that just about wraps it up. Any last thoughts? About what? Anything. Nope, no thoughts. Ah, yes, of course. It's thinking that got us into this mess in the first place, right? That's what the man said. And on that ridiculous note, it's goodbye from us. Thanks for watching this special election results edition. See you in five years' time. He's kidding, folks. We'll be back next week. Mm.